Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Steins Gate Zero, which is on episode 13. Now, I I should have known or knew something was behind the scenes, apparently, because things don't just go this way or that way for a young kid. There has to be something behind it, and I am very, very glad that my detectives, my newbie detective skills and my inst and small time instincts knew something was up so yeah if anything else let's just get this started we had to it that Kaibuni chan is all being snugly to her mama which is Mayuri chan etc and of course Suzuha went to go to work and while Kaibuni chan and Suzuha does have a little argument with each other with Suzuha complaining to Kaguri by saying you freaking left and never give me a call and let me know what's up. So why the hell are you even remembering right now, you know? That kind of thing. It wasn't like that, but Suzuha was pretty upset to see Kagari-chan having to, like, remember everything and having to, like, um, not give her a call right now. And back then when she got lost. And she even stated to Kagari-chan that, you know how much time and fuel I have to spend looking for you, huh? You have any idea what you've done? <laughs> but Kagari-chan says to Suzuha by saying... It's your fault though. You're the one that left me when we were walking, etc. And later on they had to stop arguing and get back to work. We have to it that um Okobe is working with Kiryu Moeka to find out about Kagri chan's memories, you know? Especially when it comes to like um the other guy. I forgot the guy's name. All I know is his Nene's father or something, etc. We had to it, of course, that um Tenoji, yeah, Tenoji says to Okabe about this memory thing, it might involve brainwashing. Which, apparently, Okabe and Kiyu Moeka decides to look into it, you know? And they end up having to go to, like, um, certain situations here and there, and, of course, Kiyu Moeka says she found a location. And we have two that they're gonna go take a look. While Mayuri-chan is trying to set up a party for Kagi-chan getting her memory back, we have to it that things kind of gotten a little bit more tense for the time being with Okabe being having to get out. As, Kag as for Kagri chan she does figure out that it's a party, but Mayuri chan does not really make the confirmation yet. 100% confirmation. But you know, we get to see to it that when Kagri chan decides to go buy something, possibly for Suzuha to maybe make up with her, she ends up having to remember something involving with the doctor and maybe some treatment. I'll call it treatments instead because of what's going on here. And Kagri chan says like, it hurts her head. And it looks like to me it's revealed that, again, K6, whatever number that number is, it's revealed in her memory and she says she hears the voice of God. And she ends up walking. While Okabe and Kiyu Moeka ends up looking to an abandoned building that's hidden in the forest and it's been used recently to make it look like it's old or something. But we see to it that Okabe realizes that he finds a room with Kiyu Moeka that is, says mommy, mommy, mommy all over the walls and realizes that Kagri-chan was here. And he goes like, who the hell would do this? And we see to it that Suzuha realizes that Kagri-chan might have went missing, etc. And she decides, decides to go look for her before the party is going to begin. As for Mayuri-chan, she's really wondering why like um she is coming out late, you know? And it is revealed, of course, that it looks like to me like Kagri-chan has been brainwashed. I mean, I kind of knew this from the start, or anyone who played the game or visual novel, played the game or watched the anime to this point, should have at least noticed that when Kagri-chan pointed a gun at Suzuha and looked like she's aiming the gun to kill, I knew the fact her eyes were not normal. There was no way in hell a kid who has the guts of having to grab a gun and shoot someone to kill. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, at least it should be obvious. Because from here on out, like, um... Ka the moment I saw that scene where Suzuha mentioned that Kagri-chan pointed a gun at her and shot her, I knew something was up. Because there's no way a normal kid would pick up a gun and... pick up a gun and just shoot someone right out, r just for no reason. I knew something like either she was trained or someone did something to her to, like, um... To make her do that. And it looks like to me she was brainwashed apparently. Because we see to it in this episode that she was on her way to somewhere. But she remembers some kind of music. And she ends up walking off course to the party location. Not only that her phone is left behind. And Okabe having to connect the dots. And we get to see a little like um, backstory of Kagri-chan's 
treat treatment at the end of the episode here and there of her backstory. It's pretty obvious from here on out that she's working for a group. Well, brainwashed to work for a group. So whoever that freaking punk mother is, I hope they find him and put him down to justice. Well, for me, I would I would find the guy and freaking like him get answers out of him. Even means if I had to break every bone in his body. <laughs> or break his legs. Okay, maybe I'm being stupid and causing very... Being stupid right now. Yeah, I am being stupid. Because someone having to brainwash a young kid, etc. To do some kind of plan whatsoever. Maybe cause some chaos. Or maybe find a time machine whatsoever. It's really messed up, dude. What the hell? It looks like to me it might involve certain... Stooped up mm, science professors. Whoever they are, I just hope they are found and be put down to justice. So until then, I will see you guys in my next video. So I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out. Bye bye. Toot -toot -toot.